that we've been having Joseph. This is really no surprise that fire season has come to an end. Yeah, helping hand, but it's really been only the last six yeah. days. I mean, we had over an inch of rain here locally. A lot of the Cascade foothills brought in at least two inches of rain. So obviously, yeah, that's a helping hand that really goes a long way. Notice that there's even some areas that have an orange shade that's upwards to about three inches of rain. And again, this is going back to just Thursday night into Friday of last week. So this really helps out. And then, of course, the forecast is painting more rain and you put it all together and we could kind of slow things down as far as wildfire season goes. OK, this is where we're at so far this month. Now, this is over an inch for Portland, but this is not factoring in what we had going on for today. Now, since we haven't wrapped up the total yet, although I think we're probably going to stay away from any more measurable rain, uh, we are closer to about an inch and a half. So that's good, right? We've been waiting. There was a moment earlier this month when it was 87 degrees. It had been completely dry. That seemed like we were just not going to have any sort of measurable rain. You could have stood out there with your cup all day, waited for it, and it just would have never came down. But finally, it's arrived. It's dry right now, though. We do have a couple of very light rain showers up to the northwest. Watching this, it may pass through Portland. I'm going to leave as dry as we head into the evening. I do believe there's at least a chance for maybe some very light rain maybe closer to midnight because of this batch right here that will be moving down to the southeast. As it arrives, though, it's going to collide with some drier air. So it's just not going to be all that soaking. And by the time we get into Thursday morning, we're looking good. So that's the key message. What is next? Well, it's going to be this dry time for tomorrow. It's going to be slightly warmer. And it's definitely going to be a bit brighter. Look how gray it is right now. And so I think by tomorrow morning, we do see some sunshine, especially from Portland to the south. Up in areas of Washington, it still may be a little cloudy. All right, ridge of high pressure right here. Watch what happens. It bends right over the top of us for our Thursday. So that's what's going to prevent any sort of moisture from sliding on in. Ridge usually means slightly warmer, a little sunnier, and that's what we're going to get for our Thursday. How much warmer? Uh, just a few degrees. I think we're only going to crack into the 60s. And then we keep it very active as we head into the week in this west flow right here. You see that strong wind going from west to east. It's what we call zonal flow, and it's going to throw some systems in through the course of the weekend. Let me show you it on the future cast as well. We kind of conclude the day with some clouds. We get to tomorrow morning. It's nice and dry and it's sunny. That's what I was saying Thursday morning. It's good. Since there's less clouds, it's going to be colder, so maybe a warm cup of coffee for tomorrow morning if you're going for that walk. Okay, we get to the afternoon. Here comes the cloud coverage, staying away from the rain, but that rain's going to collide with us. When? Probably as we head into Friday morning's commute. So we get to 4 a.m., it's there for the coast. There's that rope of moisture extending right through Portland, Vancouver, Gresham, out through uh, Beaverton, and down through to about Newport there. And then eventually it slides to the east, probably producing a little bit of snowfall for the mountains. Saturday starting to trend drier, which is good. Sunday looks a little wet, and that's going to carry over into our Monday as well. As far as rain totals go, I'll show you right here as I kind of zip on through Thursday and heading into Friday, about three tenths of an inch. So that system on Friday is going to be very similar to what we had going on yesterday, and uh, we're probably going to see upwards to a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of rain for us there. Okay, here's your day plan for tomorrow. We'll begin with maybe a couple clouds around Portland. A lot of sunshine for the afternoon, nice and sunny. Temperatures in the 50s to the lower 60s for our Thursday there. All right, let's take a look at that seven-day forecast because even though we have some dry time tomorrow, yeah, it's not going to stick around. We do have rain back into the forecast on Friday. I mentioned Saturday's trending to be a bit drier. I'm not going to call it a completely dry day. We may get a couple showers there, but I think we're going to be pretty good. There's Sunday at 57, Monday at 56. Monday's Halloween, and of course, we're going to see a little bit of rain, but at least it's not going to be two inches of rain. It's going to be, uh, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch at best. And hopefully in the early evening, there's a little bit of a break in there for right. the kids. Yes. Andy, yes. Yeah. Thanks, Joseph. Yep. Hey, next, some organ.